of the International Secret Police. Speed, Clint, and Barney were endeavoring to learn the whereabouts of Marsha Winfield, who has been kidnapped by the criminal leader, the Octopus, Dr. Kingsley made a discovery in the blurred map that the girl's brother sent her. There is a well-defined line that may be a secret passage from the Seong Dock right into the headquarters of the Octopus. Acting on this clue, the boys go to the Seong Dock, disguised as Chinese coolies, and start a methodical search. Speed, climbing down to the runway under the pier that leads to the seawall, happens to touch a loose board in the wall and a part of it moves to one side, revealing a dark tunnel. We find Speed greatly excited. Yeah, I bet anything that this is the secret tunnel leading to the octopus headquarters. Wonder if I ought to give the signal whistle to Clinton Barney to come down here, or if I ought to make sure it isn't a blind tunnel first. Hello, Speed. Huh? Hey, hey, who are you? Personally, I'm Jean. Everybody else is going around disguised as something or other. So I thought I'd disguise myself as a little tiny boy, too. Help me down. No, you stay up there. Look for Clinton Barney. I'm coming down. Help me. Oh, all right. Here. Here. <clears throat> There's a lot better. Well, I don't think so. How'd you know I was down here? And how come you recognized me? I'm in disguise. I wouldn't have known you if I hadn't seen you talking with Clinton Barney. <laughs> Barney looks funny as an old man. Well, there's nothing funny about it. We're down here on dangerous business. And you shouldn't be here. I should, too. I got lonesome at home. Daddy left early this morning. And I wanted to know what you all were doing, so I made myself up this way and sneaked out. Well, how'd you get past the police guards? When they saw me, they thought I was coming into the garden instead of leaving, so they chased me away. Well, it sure beats me how you tracked us here. Oh, I knew you were coming to this young dock sometime this morning, so I took a rickshaw here. Saw you climb down that ladder up at the float and start down this runway. I was standing right by the ladder when you went down. You looked at me and never knew me. Of course not in that get-up. Where'd you get the makeup? Oh, from one of the maids. Only she didn't know how I was going to use it. What's that tunnel? The tunnel. Gee, I'd forgotten about it for a minute, seeing you. You've got to get out of here, Jean. I think this is the secret passage that leads to the octopus headquarters. You do? Oh, Speed, let's go in and see where it leads. And wait a minute. You can't go in, Jean. I was just thinking about calling Clinton Barney. Oh, neither. Only what? Well, I'm not really sure that this tunnel goes very far. Maybe it's just something that was started and never finished. But still, if that's so, why would there be a secret door leading into it? Secret door? Where? I touched a loose board, and part of the wall slid back, leaving that tunnel entrance open. Have you got a flashlight, Speed? Yeah. Why? Give it to me. Why? Just because I want it. Don't ask me so many questions. Okay, here you are. But don't drop it in the water. I won't. I just want to see what's inside the tunnel. Hey, come back here. You can't go in there, Jean. I'm in, Speed. Come on. No, wait. I'm going to call Clint. Hurry up and follow me, Speed, or you won't have any light. Jean, wait. Oh, I'll have to follow her in or she'll get lost. Why'd she have to come down here anyhow? You were up at the end of the pier. I was. 
was, but there's nothing to see up there but a lot of sampans, junk, and water. I come back here thinking you might have stirred up something. No, no, not a thing. Looks like the doctor was wrong after all, Barney. We're on a wild goose chase. Where's the kid? Well, he went down the ladder to the float under the pier. Thought he might find something interesting down there. Well, for one thing, he's safer under the pier than on it in case of trouble. I ain't so sure about that. Remember, them slaves was transferred to that other boat under this pier. I know, but that has nothing to do with the present setup. Maybe not, and then again, maybe so. Octopuses like water, don't they? Why wouldn't he have one secret passage coming in from the ocean so he could get all the water he wants at any time? Oh, you're crazy. Come on, let's go get speed. And then go to Lee Ying's to see if he's learned anything new. I don't want to waste the day altogether. Okay, by me. Where are you going now? Mm, up to the ladder that leads down to the float, naturally. Well, you don't have to, Clint. There's an opening in the dock right near here that's almost directly over the seawall. That's where the kid will probably be. We can look down and... Let him know we're ready to go instead of climbing down that darn ladder again. Yeah, all right, but I didn't notice any opening on the dock. You wouldn't unless you was looking for it. Only reason I happen to know about it is that that's how Speed and me got up on the dock the night of the flower boat raid, through that hole. Oh, I see it. Uh, is it this way? Yeah, in back of that post. Oh, yes. Yes, I see it now. You'll have to get down on your knees and put your head through, else you won't see anything but what's directly under it. Well, since you know so much about it, supposing you get down on your knees and poke your head through. Okay, pal. And don't let him give you any argument about wanting to stay down there, either. Hey, Clint, the kid isn't there. Uh, what? Why, he must be. I know he hasn't come up that ladder. I've been watching it. Maybe he stayed on the float. Uh, can you see it from this hole in the dock? Sure. Take a squint yourself. There's nobody down there at all. All right. You say you're right. Do you think he fell in again? I don't know. I warned him to be careful. Maybe he decided to go for a swim after he got down. Uh, you know Speed wouldn't waste time when he's on a job. Hey, Barney. Look at that seawall. Well, get away so as I can, will you? Yeah. Okay, I'm looking. What about it? Was that tunnel there before? You were right down there beside it. Was it a solid wall? Or was that tunnel there when you last saw it? Now, let me think a minute. No, by golly, that wall was as solid as the rock of Gibraltar that night. Suffering wang doodles. Do you think Speed found something? I don't know, but we've got to get down there, Barney. Get down there as quick as we can. to the inner chamber? Yes, he cannot enter the door. And his knowledge of it will do him no good after the... <laughs> the pumps start. And when shall I give the signal to start them? As soon as you hear the voices of Barlow and Dunlap. Once they are in the tunnel, close the seawall entrance so there can be no escape for them. Then save yourself by shutting the rock door against the flood of seawater the pumps will send through the tunnel. <laughs> when, when it recedes... There will no longer be secret police to trouble us. Someone is coming near, Master. I hear laughter. Laughter? Then let him laugh when he can. Hide yourself, Kwanu. The boy must not see you and give the alarm. Immediately, Master. I shall sign off now. Stand by, though. I shall speak to you again as soon as Speed Gibson has passed me. Very well. And now to slip behind the secret rock door. <laughs> oh, I can't run any further, Speed. <laughs> I'm all out of breath. Well, out of breath or not, you're going to run right out of here. What's the idea of coming in anyhow? I thought maybe we'd have an adventure. But how can I be laughing while Marcia's away like she is? I never thought I could laugh again until she was found. We'll find Miss Marsh all right. So you needn't worry about that, Jean. Laugh all you want. But what I don't like is you coming in here after I told you not to. You should have waited for Clint and Barney. They don't know where I am if anything should happen. Don't even know you're here at all. They'd have a fit if they knew. 
nothing's going to happen, Speed. Because I don't think this is a passage to the octopus den at all. We haven't seen a single thing anywhere in it. I don't mean anything. I've got a hunch we ought to be getting out of here as quick as we can. And I'll get Clinton Barney. See that you get sent home, and we'll come back here and really explore this tunnel right. Speed, did you hear anything as we were coming along the tunnel? Well, how could I with you making so much noise? Why? Did you hear anything? Well, I thought I did. What did it sound like? Something like a whale. Well, probably just an echo from our voices. Tunnels are funny that way. What was that? Sounded like a rock moving. Did you push anything with your foot? No. Well, give me a flashlight. Now look around a little. I'm afraid. I, I feel like we're being watched, Speed. There's nothing to be afraid of yet. Anyhow, if you were going to be afraid, why didn't you start before you ever came into this tunnel? Well, it seemed like from then, out in the sunlight and all. But now, in here all alone, oh, Speed, I am scared. That's a girl for you. Get into trouble and then yell to get out of it. You gotta learn how to think before you jump into things, Jean. Yes, if you can only get out of this. I do a lot of thinking before I do any more jumping. Okay, we'll start back. But now, as long as we've gone this far, nothing's happened. I think I'll go a little further and see what's at the end of this tunnel. But I thought you wanted to get back to Clinton Barney. I do. Going just a little further ahead isn't going to hurt anything. You want to come or stay, stay there and wait for me. Oh, no. Wait, I'll come. I wouldn't stay there in the dark for anything in the world. OC-13 calling OC-127. OC-13 calling OC-127. Standing by. Yes, Conroe? They have passed me, master. Hey? Speed Gibson, Dr. Kingsley's daughter, Jean. Jean Kingsley? What is she doing there? I do not know. I did not recognize her. She was dressed as a Chinese boy. This may complicate matters. I did not dream that anyone but Gibson, Barlow, and Dunlap would be caught in my trap. Oh, where are you? I'm kid. Can you hear us? Clint Marlowe and Barney Dunlap are coming into the tunnel, Master. It's search of the boy. Then we can delay no longer. Shut the seawall panel, give the signal to start the pumps, and get to safety yourself behind the secret rock door. The secret police and all who travel with them must be destroyed. <laughs> 